For this video, I wanted to take a trip down memory lane and kind of reflect on some stuff, get you guys nostalgic. At least if you're an OG gamer or an OG YouTuber who has been watching gaming videos for, you know, like 10 years. If you're someone who is new to like watching gaming videos on YouTube, that's fine as well. You know, it's kind of like a learning experience. What I kind of want to talk about today, what inspired me to make this video is kind of talking about like where it all started and where it is now. Because it's really just kind of crazy to think how far all of this has come. The whole reason I got the idea to talk about this and make this video specifically is because Karina and I were watching The Simpsons. <laughs> and for whatever reason in the show, like I think in the intro they were watching TV. If you've watched The Simpsons, you know how they have like the same kind of intro, but it changes every time. It's something different and unique. And for this specific episode, they were recording whatever they were watching with a TiVo. Now, if you're not familiar with TiVo, it was basically this thing. I think you would buy it or pay a subscription. I don't know. I never personally had a TiVo, but I was kind of familiar with what it was. You'd use it to DVR like TV shows or movies. So if you miss a certain like episode or something, or you wanted to record a movie, you could. Nowadays, a DVR is actually a pretty standard thing. Like if you have Comcast, you know, you get a DVR. At least I think so. Maybe you have to have like a certain plan or something, but it's like, it's really standard now. You don't have to get a third party thing like TiVo. I'm not sure if they're dead or not. But yeah, I mean, it was different times, man. Like you would get a TiVo to record your shows. Even though nowadays for the most part, it's actually really easy to do that with whatever you pay for. As far as it goes for like a TV planner subscription kind of thing. So what does this have to do with like OG gaming and stuff like that? And like OG YouTube? Well, I'll tell you. When I was talking to Karina about the TiVo, it also sparked the memory about the Hapog HD PVR. Back in like 2010, 2011, everybody wanted to get this thing because that's how you could record gaming videos for YouTube. There's no Elgato's, there's nothing like like that back then. And the thing with this device, the Hapog HD PVR, is that it wasn't meant really for recording gaming videos. <laughs> It just it wasn't the original intent. It was actually meant for recording TVs and movies just like a TiVo. But the main difference is that it wasn't considered a DVR. It was a PVR, which is a personal video recorder. So, you know, you could buy this thing for like roughly $200 and you could record basically whatever you wanted to. I'm not exactly sure because I, you know, I didn't have a TiVo. Maybe you could have used a TiVo to record YouTube videos, but maybe not because no one ever did that. <laughs> I don't know how TiVo works, man. But all I know is that the Hapog HD PVR, that's what people use. I got one too. You know, when I first started making gaming videos and stuff, you guys know if you've been around the channel for a long time. I started recording my gaming videos by putting a camera on a tripod and filming my TV, <laughs> which is so ridiculous to think now, man. Like it wasn't necessarily the standard, you know, people got capture cards like the HD PVR or they got the Dazzle, which is more standard def, but <laughs> the whole thing just still blows my mind. I mean, at one point when I wanted to make gaming videos, I had to sit a camera on a tripod and try to get the best possible angle that I could. So you get the whole screen. Shit was ridiculous. If I'm not mistaken, I think I got the HD PVR right before I went to college. But here's the thing, as great as it was at the time to be able to record or your gaming videos and stuff, it was still, you know, like, it wasn't quite all there. It's not like nowadays where you can buy an Elgato and you have the software and you can set up a microphone and do live commentary and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest thing. <laughs> Back then when I had the HD PVR, I had it hooked up to my laptop and it could record the gameplay, but it couldn't record your voice. The software didn't have that kind of integration because it was initially meant for recording TV shows and movies, not your voice. This shit wasn't ready to be like, yo, what's up guys, it's the YouTuber here. No, it was not meant for that at all. But once word got out and it started becoming really popular and it blew up, Hapog started advertising it as this thing to record Xbox 360 and PS3 gameplay. Um... Bless you. What are you staring at me now? But yeah, the reason why this is so funny is because back then I didn't really have like a great microphone. I sometimes did my commentaries with my laptop built in mic, which sounded amazing, by the way, just great quality. <laughs> but sometimes if I was feeling a little raunchy, you know, sometimes I'd pull out my phone and do the commentary. I would give it like my old iPhone 3GS and I would load up the voice memos and I would record my commentary with that. If you thought the quality couldn't get any better, guys. I was doing live commentaries with my phone, but I didn't have to do that forever because around 2011, 2012, Elgato released the first game capture HD and when Elgato released the game capture HD you know then you could actually do live commentaries and stuff you could hook up a microphone and honestly back then they completely changed the game I mean it was insane if it wasn't for Elgato and the game capture HD I don't know where most youtubers who record console gameplay would be so yeah that was a really cool nostalgic moment to reflect on it was actually very humbling the whole notion that at one point I had the Hapog HD PVR and I did live commentary with my phone it's just crazy man so yeah if you're still here and you're still watching this video I hope you enjoyed the trip down memory lane what the fuck was that no scope <laughs> I'm using a terrible version of the Rytec AM AMR, by the way. People had suggested for me to use like a goofy variant, a goofy build. I couldn't really think of too much other than slowing the gun down, like ruining the ADS. And this is what you get. I mean, it's pretty bad. I figured I'd use it because I didn't really know what else to record today. So <laughs> I figured I'd just kind of mess around with it and talk about what I wanted to talk about. This video is not sponsored by Elgato, but I do have like a link with them. And even though this isn't like a sponsored video or anything, I just wanted to thank them for all the years of, you know, providing their products and stuff and basically making gaming YouTube what it is. Because honestly, it wouldn't be the same without them. We'd also be pulling out tripods and stuff to record. <laughs> 
I actually got the final kill. How did I even get these two people? Like, what? It's a truly terrible sniper. I mean, I think I'm bottom of the team with seven and eight. <laughs> We're going that high quality gameplay with Elgato. And you know, as far as it goes for the standard for gaming videos is going now, it is so much higher than it was before. For me personally, now I have a face cam that can do 4K. I've got an XLR mic set up and stuff. Still using Elgato to record console gameplay, but you know, now it's the HD60 Pro. It's built into the PC instead of an external unit. It's just, it's crazy, man. I personally feel so lucky and so fortunate to have this opportunity to have this ability to make these kinds of videos for you guys. So with that being said, let's go hit some dank feeds with this awesome gun. God, it takes a century to be able to actually aim at the guy. Oh, oh come on, dude. You scope out, it's a death sentence. Nope. Wow, this is a great gun. Maybe I can get a dank Nosk. That's what I'm banking on. Come on. Three, two, one. He's, he's right there. I knew it. Perfect. Nope. Okay. Well, that's sad. I can camp with this thing, I guess. I mean, it's gross. Oh, Colette. Come on. Let's hit a feed with it. We have to hard scope, but... Oh. Oh, God. Look, what feed? Maybe? Everything's shaking. I can't... Okay. I was almost seeing some potential there. I got a VTOL using this. Are you kidding me? God, this is so terrible. <laughs> Girl in the corner. Come on. Keep it going. We're crunks, we can aim fast. No, we can't. I'm trying to do good with this class, but it's so slow. I got 19 kills that time. I got the most kills on the team, even though I'm somehow in the middle. I almost had a 2 KD too. That's gross. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this Modern Warfare video of me talking about like OG YouTube gaming. Again, thank you guys for all of the incredible support over all the years of me doing YouTube and especially recently. We're about to hit 4.1 million subscribers. So get your Meemaws, get your cats. They need to subscribe right now. We need to hit this milestone. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did it and you want to see some more random videos like this one, make sure to drop a like. See you guys later.